Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Outpost HD truck bed rack with the 60 inch crossbars. This is going to be a fixed mid-height truck bed rack. So with that mid-height, it's not going to extend too far above the cab, but it's also going to leave a little bit of room underneath so you can still get into the bed if you need it. This mid-height lends itself really well to things like rooftop tents because we don't need it super up tall, but we don't want it all the way down by the bed either. And with the 60 inch crossbars, it's going to be a good fit for our smaller trucks. Things like our Ford Maverick here, maybe an older generation Ranger or a Jeep Gladiator. Let's check it out. So right away, I wanna talk about how it attaches. This is going to clamp onto your bed rails. These pads here are really large and able to get a good hold on a variety of different bed rails. And the clamps underneath will hold up on the upper inside edge of that bed rail. Everything is very secure and stable, and these even lock up. So all the bolts to control those clamps are locked up inside the base pads here, so it's nice and secure. If you do have something like a tonneau cover though, maybe a Retrax retractable tonneau cover that has the rail system up top, there is an adapter kit available for this rack that'll allow it to work with those slots, but it's only gonna be for those select tonneau covers with the rail system and the adapter. So if that's something you need or you're interested in, be sure to look into that. And if you're looking at this, maybe wondering if there's an option for your midsize or full-size trucks, maybe something like a Tacoma or even an F-150 or bigger, there is options there as well with longer crossbar kits available. So be sure to check our website and find the right kit for you. And like I mentioned before, it is a mid-height rack. So from the bed rail to the top of the crossbar is gonna be 13 inches. That's going to be a fixed position. There's no adjustment here for the height. So that's what you're getting. If you need something that's gonna maybe fall in a different range, I'd consider checking out the overhaul from Yakima. It's gonna be a very similar system, but it's an adjustable, more traditional ladder rack style. So if you need to extend it above the cab to maybe carry something like a kayak, ladders or lumber, any sort of elongated loads, then that's your option. But if you're just looking at this for something like a basket, a platform, a tent, things like that that don't need to extend over the cab, I'd go with this. And speaking of mounting up accessories on here, you wanna make sure you're not overloading the system. The whole thing has a weight capacity of 500 pounds. That's its on-road rating. If you're gonna be taking this off-road, maybe somewhere where there's gonna be a lot more shock and shake, then it's got a 300 pound weight capacity. And that's the dynamic weight capacity. So when you're moving around, driving, that's what it's rated for. Make sure to not overload it. And if you're using it on whatever vehicle, make sure you check your vehicle's weight capacities and make sure you're not exceeding any of those either. If you've got something like a rooftop tent though, whenever you're parked and stationary, that weight capacity will bump up because you're static, you're not moving around. So don't be wary about that. Still be mindful of the weight capacities and the ratings, but just know that it's gonna be able to handle a little bit more weight when it's still. For mounting those accessories up, you've got a couple different methods. These use Yakima's HD bars, which are a slightly bigger bar, three inches wide, inch and a half tall, but they work well for most clamp around accessories. And they do feature a track system up top. We just peel up the weather stripping, slide in our T-track accessories, cut this to length and put it back in place around our accessories so that no wind gets into the gaps here, causing any unnecessarily loud whistling when we're going down the road. Personally, I would just stick to clamp around accessories so I don't have to trim this up, but that's totally up to you. You've got the option there if you've got the accessories for it. If you find that you need more room for accessories, there is an optional sidebar attachment here. The uprights have threaded holes on the sides where you can install that sidebar and it'll give you another point to add accessories, whether it be tie down points or mounts for things like recovery tracks. The kit already does come included with some tie down points in the crossbar end caps up top, metal reinforced, and these large ones down on the uprights themselves. So if you do have some gear you need to secure, uh, those options are available to you. And they're found on every one of the uprights, along with Yakima's signature bottle opener below that. These do utilize Yakima's same key system. So all you gotta do is unlock them or lock them up. Both the front and rear crossbars are key to like. But if you wanna swap out those lock cores to maybe match some other Yakima accessories you have, you absolutely can. You can find those replacement cores on our website as well if you wanna swap them out. Otherwise, 
they come included with two keys and a lock for the front and rear. If you wanna leave this on full time, it's gonna be an aluminum construction with a black powder coat finish, so you're not gonna to have to worry about rust and corrosion. And the way it sits, at least on this truck, I think it's gonna fit really well. It doesn't block the back window, but obviously depending on what truck you're putting this on, that fit might change just a little bit. But I think for the most part, that 13 inch height is going to leave some good visibility if we've got accessories unloaded, obviously. If we want to though, you can loosen up these two base points and lift the whole assembly out, leaving just the base pads behind. So you don't have to have it installed 24 seven. And after you go through the initial install process and get everything measured out and tightened down where you like it, you only have to do that once. You can just lift this up out of the bed, set it aside and pop it back in when you're ready to go again. And speaking of that installation process, it's gonna be really straightforward. Not a whole lot of adjustment points you have to worry about and everything is really nice hardware, really simple to follow along. Really all you need to do is figure out where you want your uprights to be and match your crossbar spread up for certain accessories. Or if you don't really know what you're shooting for, just get them installed and go from there. And that'll do it for a look at the Yakima Outpost HD truck bed rack with 60 inch crossbars. Thanks for watching.